Hello, and welcome to Grug Gaming. And welcome back to our playthrough of Ultima 3 Exodus. We're here in Lord British's castle. We're going to walk around, talk to some people, do a little more fighting afterward, most likely. We also need to buy some food soon as well. Alright, let's see what we have going on. What do these guards have to say? Good day. Let's look around the outside of the castle first before we go in. Make sure there's nothing conspicuous going on. You never know. Oh, wait. There's a ship on the other side. Well, I don't know if we can get to that at all, but we'll need to remember that's there. That's pretty cool. Pardon us, guards. What about this side over here? Will there be any other hidden ships, I wonder? No, nothing. Okay, head back down to the south here. Ah, look at the beautiful, beautiful gardens as we come in. Hello, Chuckles. Welcome all. Well, welcome to you, Chuckles. Thanks for greeting us here. Uh, what's this clown have to say? Oh, that's Yolo. He sings ho we oh he hum I remember Yolo. He was our, uh, the jester... Uh, no, he was the bard in the towns uh, in Ultima 1. Uh, no, I don't want to yell. Yep, that's good. Uh, let's see here. Good day, guards. How about this other jester over here? What's he have to say? Guino. Ah, remember in Ultima 2? Um, there was a town, I don't remember which one, but it had uh, Guino and Yolo there. And if you remember, Guino, I think, was the jester from Ultima 1 that had the keys. What's going on over here? Enter, if you dare. Well, I don't know what's in there, but I don't dare right now. Well, what do we have here? The mess hall? Looks like we got a cleric. Good day. Okay. Phantom Fighter. The food stinks. Noted. The cook wants to know, like the food? And the fighter is yelling, the food stinks. That's great. Uh, where does this head to? Okay, this is that middle fountain. About over here, what do we have? Healing talk. Alright. He could do curing, which I think is for poison. Healing, which is health. So let's try healing. Two healing. 200... And no! We will not be paying that kind of money. But he can do resurrection and recalling. So we might need him later. How much is resurrection? 500 gold pieces. So we need to remember that in case somebody dies, this is where we come to bring them back to life. Ooh, the storerooms. Uh, hitting the wrong buttons does not help. Uh, this is Guino. He made it all the way up here. All right, we have some kind of force field that does 100 points of damage when you walk into it. Holy moly. Well, that was impressive. Uh, better heal Grug back up. That didn't go quite so well. Whoop. All right, who's up here? Uh, the guards, good day. There's Lord British. Let's talk to him. Welcome, my child. Experience more. So, we are an experience. We have very little experience points. So I guess we gotta go out and do more fighting. But we didn't really learn much, except for the food here is terrible. And that there's a ship out back. And if we remember looking, I think... Was there a door over here by Lord British's? Yeah, there's a locked door here. So we could go through this door. Maybe we could find something like the ship. But that doesn't help us right now. 
just keep healing Grug a little bit from walking into that force field. That was a little unpleasant, if I must say so myself. So, we've learned that we need exotic arms, and Exodus lies beyond the Silver Snake. Now I happen to know that we need to go into a couple dungeons uh, to go ahead and level up. So we'll be looking at doing that. Maybe we can look around and see if we can find one of the dungeons so we know what we're looking for. But I'm not sure what dungeon we're supposed to go in or when or where or any of that. That is the mystery currently. Oh, we have a forest over here. I really should just get a map of the overworld, just so it makes sense. But anything in this forest looks like some mountain ranges. Okay. Oh! And we have a cave. Let's look at what we're looking at here. Oh, North Mountains. A dungeon, alright. Let's take just a look inside. We enter the dungeon and it's dark. Oh no. Ooh. We need torches before we can go in there, folks, so that's another item we need to find and buy. I'm not sure where we buy torches, even. Does the grocer... Oh! We got attacked! I wasn't even paying attention. We can go ahead and fight these guys. Go ahead and shoot our slings at them, one of them down. Cast our Matar spell, our magic missile. We can get our cleric up into fighting range. Look at this. Not doing too bad. Cleric, you can just wait there a turn. Grug, smack him around. Uh, cast Vitar. Bam! Oh! The only problem is our, uh, our paladin is the same color they are. Whoop. There we go. Victory. You'll notice that we only get experience on the person who does the kill, so something we have to keep an eye out for. Let's open up this trap. Uh, B. 50 gold and a free sling. Ah, oh, we can sell that off. We don't have a lot of food. I'm kind of concerned about our current food stocks. Looks like we have some forest up here and another dungeon. Correct? Yes. So we have a dungeon to the north. In fact, I'm going to make here, make a little note. So there's Lord British Castle. There is a dungeon to the east in woods and a dungeon north in woods by water. Okay, a little note on where things are for us. I am, again, still concerned. Oh, we got a town up there. We can't reach. We're going to need some kind of vessel. Let's fight these orcs. Okay. So orcs, one thing we can actually do, we have our regular attacks, but our wizard, he can actually cast the lowest level spell, and when it works, it just kills orcs, but it doesn't work all that often, but it costs zero mana to cast, so we might as well keep trying. I should have cast it there. That was silly. Cast. Nope. Failed again. Ooh, having all kinds of trouble. No biggie. We can get up here. Took a little damage, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and open up this chest with magic. Ooh, and some chain armor. That's actually pretty awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and also heal up Rug a bit. He seems to be taking quite a good bit of smacking around being in that front spot in the party. But that's okay. Um, let's see actually, who got that that chain? Who's holding on to that? 
Uh, it looks like... Yes! The chain armor is currently being held by nanners, so... How do we give that to somebody else? We use the H command. Okay. So we are going to hand from nanners to Nim. We are going to give our... Oh, we can pass food. Okay. That makes this a lot easier. Armor. Check. And D was chained. How many? One. Awesome. So now we should be able to wear Nim chain and now Nim should be wearing the chain armor. Sling and chain armor. Awesome. And now that I know that we can hand food um, let's hand off some of this extra food why don't we? Hand from one to player two food 100 handoff from player 1 to player 3 food 100 oh and handoff from player 1 to player 4 food 100 all right awesome that fixes that problem now that we know we can transfer food about I may need to get a map just to see what these dungeons are called. Oh, there's random treasure chests. Those are my favorite type of treasure chests. All right, shoot our slings at these guys. Oh, I messed that up. A couple slingshots, pretty impressive. Let's try our, there we go. Did you see that? That Rapon spell just blew those orcs away. That's awesome. Our cleric has a similar spell. Um, that does the same to Undead, which is neat. Alright, let's go ahead and cast a few more open chest spells here. Build up our gold. Ah, she failed. There we go. Not doing too bad on the gold. In fact, why don't we see how much we have total. Uh, we're sitting at 295 total gold for the party. Not bad. Alright, there should be a city in here if I remember correctly. This should be the city of Fawn. Oh no, this is the city of Yu. Okay. So that's the city of you. Is there anything around the city of you? Anything worth looking at? No. We'll come back and visit the city of you later. Right now I just kind of get a feeling for what is out and about on the open world. Um, we have some waterways. Does this go anywhere? Kind of just a big peninsula? Or is this an actual land bridge somewhere? <gasps> oh, we got a town. Okay, so we got two towns that we can't can't get across. But knowing where those towns are is useful. Oh, okay, we just gotta go north. Got a skeleton and a evil wizard coming our way. Let's take care of these guys, shall we? Nah, I can't do anything until he gets in line here shoot our slings at him. As you can see, using long range attacks is just the way to go in this game. Because the enemy can't really fight back against them too well. But we do need to get some better weapons. Um, we're gonna need to build up a lot more gold to get ourselves some much better weapons. Uh, how much is Rapala doing on... Nim's doing... Nanners is doing okay on magic. Not looking too bad. Uh, let's, let's fight this skeleton too. Let's see if Nanners can get her uh, spell to go off here. Cast. Nope, it failed. But this is just two skeletons. There shouldn't be too much to worry about here. There we go. Uh, 
Oh my goodness. Come on, Nanders, open that chest. Alright. Oh, we got orcs aplenty and skeletons coming at us from every which way. Ooh, and we don't seem to be doing a very good job with our uh, our one spell that kills the undead. Might be useful if she could do a little bit better for us. Oh, come on, Nanners. We didn't bring you along to drag down the party. Oh! Didn't realize that was Drug. Drug who was set. Oh, attack in the right direction, buddy. There we go. Man, we're going to need to start getting our uh, cleric more involved in some of these fights. If she's going to be gaining any experience worth mentioning. Oh, come on. A couple goblins. Nothing to worry about. If her pond would work, it would be nothing to worry about. But since our spells don't seem to want to work today, we may have to do this the old fashioned way. Don't worry. Between Grug and everyone else, I think we can bash him with our slings up close. Bash him with our maces. We'll be fine. Oop. Come on. Oop. Come on, Grug. There we go. There's one more north of us. How are we on health? Not too bad. 59 gold. Let's fight this next group of... Orcs here. Cast it. Oh, that spell just doesn't seem to want to work for us at all. That's okay. It'll work eventually. We only need it to work eventually. Oh, we're taking a bit of a beating here. Let's get everyone lined up and just beat this orc to death. There we go. Ooh, 60 gold. Alright, what's down here? Kind of a dense forest, another town, some mountains. A ver oh no! This could be bad. Um. This is not what I expected to have happen right now. We need to not venture this close to the water ever again. Okay, we're hitting them at least. can't tell how much damage we're really taking. It's not giving us a good indicator. We are attacked by vicious octopuses. Oh! Let's keep working on them. Okay, one down. Oh, did not mean to get into this battle, I tell you what. Rapala is out of magic. Manners is not, however. Can you... Oh! Without any spells. Uh, nope. I wonder if she can cast the cure spell in battle like this. Find out here. Cast cure. Yes, we can. On Grug. Great. Gonna have to do some battle healing, it looks like. 
Yes, cure on Grug again. All right. I think we'll be able to win this with our slings. Thank goodness we have them. Although this one seems to want to pick on our mage. Let's move him back. There we go. Victory. 20 experience. Nanners, can you go ahead and open that chest? Failed and got poisoned. Well, there's a whirlpool there. That's always good. So Nanners is poisoned. Forget that chest. We're out of here. Nanners is... has a cold as well. So Nanners has a cold and Nim is poisoned. Got confused for a minute there. I think. Nope. Nim and Nanners are both just poisoned. Oh, we need to get that... We need to get that fixed. Before they die. If you catch a cold, you eat food faster. If you get poison, you just take damage. Luckily... Nanners can heal. As we limp back to Lord British's castle. Oh no. This does not bode well, people. Uh, let's see. Uh, Nanners, how you doing on health? We need to get you back up. Right, Nim, why are you not uh, doing your job? Oh, because you can't cast this, the heal spell yet. That's a moon door. We'll talk about those later. We are not in any shape to be engaging with that. Oh, come on, seriously? Just let us get back to town. Cast the highest level healing spell you have on Nim, please. Uh, how are you doing? You better heal yourself so you don't die, since you are the only healer in the party. Just kind of work our way through these orcs real quick. Oh, no. Go away. Titans. We're being attacked by Titans. This is possibly the worst. Uh, cast C on Nim, who's about to die. Oh my goodness. The sprites look cool, but uh, I don't know that we're going to be able to take this and survive. We need to get back to town. really need to get back to town. Ooh. Grug is hurting. Nim is hurting. Rapala is almost out of magic. These things are... We're missing like crazy. Okay. One down. Rapala, you're out of, out of juice. Nim is down to 90 some hit points. Oh, really need to pay attention where the, my attacks are being directed. So what happened, Grug? Well, the, the greatest adventurers ever to venture forth to save Cesaria were killed by poison. And then got lost. Because so I think I'm think I'm headed in the right direction. But I'm not a hundred percent sure. Uh, there we go. Uh, let's work our way through these couple orcs here, and then hopefully we'll be able to make it back to town. Uh, the healer was... Where was the healer? He was in Lord British's castle. Was that down here? Oh, I'm so lost. 
Ah, there it is. All right. We're gonna enter here. We don't take poison as quickly, but we need to get healed up here. Cast you, heal him. Cast you, heal yourself. Hopefully we have enough healing to make it to the healers. All right, was that here? All right, healing. Let's join our gold. Transact. All right, I need curing. Ah, but not you. We need to hand over from Grug to Nim, gold. Can I just do this? We'll give it all. Oh, no. How much gold does Grug have? 577. Okay. Let us hand over from Grug to Nim, gold in the amount of 577. Done. Transact. Nim. The healer. We need curing. 100 gold. Yes, I will pay. Cure whom? Okay, cool. Nim is no longer poisoned. Give our gold back to Grug. He'll just be our, our merchant for the group. So we'll have Grug talk to the healer as well. We need curing. Yes, we will pay. And you need to cure Nanners. Ooh! All right. Well, we survived that catastrophe, folks. I thought we were going to be dead right there. So as you can see, we have a lot of searching to do. Hey, who is this? You weren't here earlier. Never mind you were. You just say good day. We have a lot of adventuring to do and a lot of grinding. What I think I'm going to do is off screen, I'm going to grind a bunch of gold out to get our guys some food and maybe some better weapons. Um, we would be real nice if our two, if our thief and our paladin both had bows instead of slings. That would really help us out quite a bit. So I'm going to do all of that off screen. See how much daggers are. Maybe if we have enough gold, we'll just buy a bunch of those for uh, Rapala to throw at people when he runs out of magic points as well. Uh, so we'll be doing that off screen. And when we come back, I will probably do some more adventuring around to see what else we have as far as caves nearby. So, folks, we'll be doing that and more in the next episode of Gaming with Grug. I want to say thanks for watching. We're three episodes in, and I'm really enjoying playing this game. If you're enjoying watching it, would you please like, subscribe, and comment? I'd very much appreciate it. And as always, we hope to see you soon.